All right, it's finally here. We have been teasing you about this guitar literally for months. This is the Alamo Music Exclusive Custom Shop Triple O Martin with Koa back and sides, or as I'm calling this Triple O Koa guitar, the Koa. Anyways, stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you are new to our channel, make sure that you subscribe and you turn on notifications and like our videos. And if you want to support this channel, visit our Spring Store link below for custom swag like this shirt. And also check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. The Kua. You like that? The Kua. I'm all right with that. If it had been an OM, we'll, we'll call that one a comma. Let's get into it. Um, <laughs> we showed y'all not too long ago our HD's Wild. HD's Wild. Yeah, yes. so we have our Wild Grain Rosewood Dreadnought. That was our first kind of, you know, exclusive summer, summer limited. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's our our one exclusive pick that we did at the factory last year. This was the other one. And these took a little bit longer to get in. They are still not all in. All of the Dreadnoughts are not in yet. Right. So. We're still at the early part of this, but of course we got this one. We got to show it to you because they will also probably go fast. For full disclosure, the first handful of the dreadnoughts that we got in have gone. So if you want to get on the list for those, they will be rolling in. These will also be rolling in. We got 10 and uh, totally different. Totally different, totally different, not a, a dreadnought, if you couldn't tell. So yeah. that's that's definitely different. Not rosewood either, but also hand-selected sets for these guitars. Oh, yeah. Um, and something that we really were excited to do because it's something that otherwise Martin doesn't really do a lot of, uh, yeah. and that is to utilize Koa in a build because yeah. Hawaiian Koa is one of our favorite tone woods. Um, it's fantastic. It's very, very popular. So this was a fun endeavor. Yeah. So we have had a couple custom shop Martins with Koa, but usually those are one-offs from Nam mm -hmm. that we happen to win or something. Um, it's cool to kind of go in and pick the sets that we like, but also have something with our name on it, something that's exclusive. I'm going to walk you through what's going on on the front, and then we'll get to the fancy stuff on the back. But there's a triple O. You might remember we did an OM build at one point. We are going to have more of those coming in sometime down the road. They take a long time, but yep. we got to restock on those. This is a triple O, not the OM. Same exact body. Um, shorter scale length. Yeah, so different it's breaking. a little bit shorter scale length um, and a different pick guard. But for all the fans of the triple O or OM body, that stays the same here. This is VTS Sitka Spruce, which you can kind of tell it doesn't have the age toner on it. It's natural, but it does have a little bit of a dark color. Really pretty silking on the top. For those who are unfamiliar with VTS, that's the Vintage Tone System, which is basically Martin's uh, proprietary iteration of Torrefaction in order to age and open up the top and the bracing on the guitar so that you get a guitar that immediately out of the case sounds played in and older. Yeah, for sure. Very cool. This has um, golden arrow bracing. I'm looking to <laughs> see the little cloth strip right there. Yeah. So this does have the scalloped golden arrow bracing, very cool. Um, rosette on here, obviously different from that other one that we did. This will be pearl, mm -hmm. kind of style 45E, um, but it does have herringbone purfling, which I think is a good call on the any best Martin of guitar. Both worlds. Yeah, so you do have a nice herringbone, but also some nice uh, style 45 pearl and the black maple fiber kind of thing going on. Um, bone pins with the abalone dot and obviously ebony and ebony, my other favorite inlay, which we did on the OMs, which is the short diamonds and squares, which yep. I really like. Um, but up here, you got the right formula, and then we kick it to the back, get some really nice koa that, I mean, I don't want to move it around a ton because the lights will hit it all weird and stuff, but really nice flame going on here, a lot of different coloration. Um, Koa back and sides. This is bound in rosewood, by the way, that yep. we didn't talk about. So Yeah, wood binding is one of our preferred go-tos. Yeah. Um, and then the Style 45 Mosaic back strip. I dig it. Mahogany neck. That's a real custom feature right there. You never got a mahogany neck, but uh, yeah. No. Well, we actually know what it is. Yeah. As opposed to select hardwood. Yeah. So yeah. that's mahogany <laughs> neck. It's got the volute and it's got the gold Grover open gears on there. And... Um, 
match on the koa on the headstock, you know, the head plate, and then also the CFM Martin uh, block inlay in the kind of golden era look, which yeah. I, I like a lot. With gold open gear tuners that matches the blonde and caramel aspects of the koa very, very well. Yeah, and so the thing is we wanted to do two designs that would be kind of radically different from each other, obviously. So the other one was the Dreadnought, very old school style, pretty uh, pretty straightforward besides the wild grain. You know, well, the, the idea of that was, kinda... hey, let's do an HD28 with wild grain Eastern New Rosewood and wood binding. Yeah. yeah that was kind of the, the impetus of this. This this came from a number of things. One, to be different, but we also had that really cool prototype yeah. that was an OM with Koa, and that, I think, started some of the, huh, what yeah. if we did something? And that was one of those guitars that it sold immediately before we even got the video out. Yeah. And then when we put the video out, everybody was asking for a Koa back and side kind of triple O OM body. So this takes some of our favorite things about that guitar. Um, I mean, I am a fan of the block inlay. I think that heightens the aesthetic of anything. Yeah. Um, but it's cool that they match the Koa on there. And then otherwise, it's not anything super over the top inlay wise or, or pearly. It's just a few nice little touches and then great tonewood combination with the VTS spruce and right. the Koa, you know. Well, it's a lot of a lot of choices specifically for the player in mind of the guitar. So, you know, with a custom guitar, you can go a lot of ways. You can do something that's extremely extravagant, but build-wise is very much like something that's off the shelf, uh, yet with a lot of uh, ornamentation on it. The other way that you can go is something that's very uh, bare bones as far as aesthetics, but you do a lot when it comes to the performance of the guitar like with VTS and golden era bracing and, and the tone wood combinations that you choose. And what we did was try to find a nice tasteful blend of the two of these. Yeah. So, you know, the VTS top, uh, it's the top and the bracing is treated, but also the golden era bracing, which we hit on with the HD 28 is, you know, more contact wood to wood and how it's positioned on the top of the guitar. Yeah. So that is going to help with the way the guitar sounds. And then the pairing of these two is just, it's a really, really nice pairing. Koa's like, <laughs> I don't want to say what I've heard before, but it's like this great combination of tone woods. It's kind of got some rosewood. It's kind of got some maple. It's kind of got some mahogany. It's got all of these characteristics um, along with really, really beautiful appearance. Yeah. Um, and so I would, I, I get why Martin doesn't put more of it out, but I, and maybe, maybe they shouldn't. And we can just keep making our really cool exclusives with it yeah. because I think it's a fantastic combination. I think Koa in Martin's hands is a really well done tone wood. Yeah, and it's cool because the back and sides wood is great. The VTS kind of lets it breathe a little bit more so you can right away kind of hear the sound that, yeah. that this guitar is really shooting for. Um, so just like the other ones, we have a gallery of all the picks. So if you like the way this one sounds, yes, you can take this guitar, but you can also see what else is coming. I, you know, we're shooting this on a Monday. I saw late last week that two more shipped to us. So yeah. as they come in, I guarantee people will find the set that they like and take it and that'll be reserved for them. But uh, feel free like you did with, uh, some of you did with the Rosewood, just email us. We can send you all the photos and you can pick your favorite. But for now, let's take a listen.
what a beautiful sounding guitar. Um, you know, I heard you playing it during the demo and outside of the demo and um, getting hands on as well. This is just a really nice responsive guitar with a fantastic tone. Yeah. You know, it's got the sparkle that you want. It's got some nice warmth and low end to it and some wonderful overtones. It's a really, really great guitar. Yeah. It's, it's one of those fun. guitars you strum and like, what is going on with this guitar? It's the thing with the, I mean, Martin Custom Shop, we always say whenever get one in, it's that little extra touch that mm -hmm. just kind of feels heightened yeah. a little bit everything feels heightened so the tone the resonance the vibration on like that you kind of feel when you're playing it it's a uh, just really nice to play and i think as a foil to our other build these they're totally for two separate customers yeah. you know two separate kinds of players and genres but but you can uh, buy both you can buy both <laughs> but know that you're going to write completely different music yeah. uh, from one to the other and uh, i love the dreadnoughts those totally blew my, blew my mind that when they came in, I was like, man, these are amazing. And then I, it almost made me forget that we have a completely different and very cool build coming in. I didn't forget, but when it came, it was like, all right, sweet, this one worked too. This one, the hypothesis was proven to be true that one, my hair will stick to it. <laughs> and two, it is a- um, You should have left that on there and charge more. Yeah, it's an upcharge right there. Get the Goldilocks, but I love the way it looks. I really like the look of their VTS spruce mm -hmm. without the aged toner. It's like kind of just gives a whole different vibe and you play a guitar first with your eyes. And so it is a, uh, it's a nice look. I really like it. I like the Rosewood and Koa. Joey, our friend from Martin, he and I were geeking out about wood bindings the other day. Yeah. Um, talking about these specific guitars, in fact. I do want to mention something in regards to uh, the selections of the wood. Uh, I had a I had this conversation with someone else regarding the HD28s. So just so that you know, we have the photos of the wood that was selected. We don't know what uh, pairings are tied to what serial numbers. Um, and so it, it, you know, what that means is that if you call us and you go, let me see them, and we say, here they are, and you go, I want that one, uh, cool, when something ships, we're gonna have a serial number for it. We don't know what it is until it arrives. So um, just so that you know, you know, you bear with us, but they're all coming. And uh, one of the questions was, is it going to be like, do I have to wait a few years for it? Uh, no, they are shipping, you know, right now. I so. assume that we will see at least 90% of them through August. Yeah. Maybe some trickling in in the early part of September. But each week we've seen this shipped, this shipped, this shipped. The other thing is um, you can see the sets. They do look different when they yes. came in. The basic idea of the grain is there, but with the nitro finish and everything that they do to it, I know they're probably taking it down a little bit more. So you're picking based off the general idea. And yes, you can get a solid idea of what it's going to look like. But it's really cool, even if you just want to see you know, if you're not interested in one of the guitars, but you want to see how different they look from the factory, it's just cool to look at them. So um, please feel free to reach out to us, email us, call us, text us, and we will send you the before photos of all the sets so you can see how different they are when they show up and how much better they are. Because I don't think there's any sets of wood out there that look worse when the guitar is done, you know. Finish has a way of highlighting things. Yeah, it just blows it off. That was one of the cool things with the Koa you'd see a set that looks kind of plain and then they pour that stuff on it, rub it out, yeah. and you see all the flame that's gonna show up. So The schmutz. Yeah, you gotta get that schmutz on there. <laughs> um, but yeah, these came out beautiful. For those of you that have heard us teasing about cool customs with Koa from Martin, they're finally here. So now it's time for you to pick which one you like best. And the information about these guitars with pricing and all of the specifications along with our photography is on our website at alamomusic.com along with our system where you can chat with one of our associates to get uh, information on purchasing or any questions that you may have answered. Um, very cool guitars, very unique guitars. On your mark, get set. Koa. Koa. <laughs> if you are new to our channel and you like high-end guitars, low-end guitars, guitar reviews, demos, honest opinions, answers, and news about the industry, then where have you been? If you have been around for a bit, you should have found us. So make sure that you subscribe, you turn on notifications, you like our videos, and comment below what you think about this guitar, the HD Wild, and also 
maybe an idea that you have for another exclusive that we could do with Martin or someone else. We'd love to hear your opinions and ideas. Uh, so just let us know in the comments below and keep coming back and we'll be here. <laughs>